building. So okay. obviously for you, I mean, so I'm talking to intelligence officers because we haven't really spoken to any, but we'd already agreed that although they were, they would be a focus in future, they weren't necessarily the focus now. Okay. Um, and the people that we have been focusing on are the people in that office now because they haven't really got a system to work with. Okay. And and tra- and trading standards enforcement officers. Yeah. But what I what I'm hoping is is that by getting them to use this system and put the information in properly, then if, then it, there'll be knock on beneficial effects for you, and we probably oh, won't have to, we probably yeah. won't have to build anything extra for you. So in terms yeah. of that flow of how of in terms of that flow of how you work things out with that central office, like hopefully they'll be managing their cases and stuff in in here, but presumably. A lot of a lot of the actual software part of it will still be saying the same for them. They'll still be using okay. IDB and Memex. Now, yeah. that I have to say that like I, I haven't really like I'm kind of I'm talking off script here, and I haven't really probably got permission to say a lot of the stuff I just said. But frankly, <laughs> like my role as a researcher is to represent what you said properly and to try and look out for your needs. So okay. that's why I'm telling you this stuff. Okay. <laughs> So okay. I, so it's not gospel. I'm just trying to tell you what it is that we're doing and why. Yeah, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, I think that, like, I've spoken to the intelligence team here, and like, yeah, like, the problem that you're describing isn't unique to your role. That's a problem. Okay. That, that's a problem across processes, as far as I've been able to see, across all of trading standards and how they interact with this team and how trading yeah. standards interact with each other as well. Yeah. Seems yeah. like there are quite there's quite a lot of possibility for stuff to fall through the gaps. Mm. Is that a fair assessment, you think? Yeah, I think so, definitely. Mm. I mean, you know, like if you're passing stuff up and down and who's doing what and one of the reasons that we're doing this piece of work is to try and stop trading like local trading standards from duplicating the work that they're doing with each other. Yes. Yeah. You know, if everyone's getting tests done on the same products. Yeah. That's crazy. And that's why I was yeah, asking absolutely. about product identification, right? How do you know mm. that you have tested a product or not? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, makes sense. Do you have any more questions? No, 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 that makes, no, it makes perfect sense what you're saying. I love that. Having sat on the product safety group regionally, yeah. um, you know, things like that are not always thought about. Um, so when they're when they're even planning a project yeah. and planning their um, test purchasing, yeah. just checking that no one else has already done it or what their findings were and what they you know what they what they tested is not always thought about. So I think definitely definitely yeah makes sense what you're saying. So hopefully we'll get some good solutions out of it. Great. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure. Okay. Um, drop me a line if you think of anything interesting and I'll, and I'll speak to you soon maybe. Okay, brilliant. Thanks so Thanks much. Thanks very much. Take care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.